Wow, I bet this tree will look great against this house. Let me try to put it beside it. Wait. Wait. Wait, let me... Ah, here we go. That's much better. Welcome everybody to another installment of the Teapot Build Technique Guide for beginners, intermediates, and advanced players all alike. The last guide I made was back when 2.4 came out, so now I think would be a good time to review some of the old techniques that still work and introduce some new techniques that were newly discovered. Without further ado, let's jump right into the first technique. Clipping. Clipping can be accomplished by taking the furniture you want to clip and shaking it so furiously the system gets confused and it allows you to clip into other buildings. During this technique you have to pay attention to the hitbox. If it's all red all the time it's not going to work and if it's all blue all the time it's not going to work either. You have to make sure that when you're shaking it it's sometimes blue and sometimes red and after a while it'll become blue completely and that's when you can clip into other buildings. Another tip is that you don't actually have to shake against the same building that you're going to clip into later. So I can shake against the furnishing and clip the tree into some other unrelated furnishing. Okay, so the tree is beside the house. Everything looks good, but I think there's just something missing from this picture. Hmm, I've always wanted to live in space. I wonder if we can make that happen. For the floating technique, we're going to utilize these very convenient floating rocks that allow you to change their height. So first, adjust the floating rock to where you want your house to be, and then put your house on it. I made sure that my house is on the edge of the rock. So now we're rotating the camera to make sure there's no terrain behind the house. And now we're positioning our camera so we can see the underside of the house. Now when I left click the hitbox of the house, it's going to briefly turn red. When I let go of left click, it's going to turn back blue. And now, voila. Okay, so now the house is up in the sky, what about the tree? Well, similarly, if I want to clip it, I have to shake it first, and then repeat the same steps to make it float. And there you go, our tree and the house in the air. Now this is a new technique, and we're going to be utilizing our little friend, the snowman. Yes, you heard me right, we're going to use the snowman to float this house without looking under it. So first, we're going to move our camera to position the house in the middle of our view. And we're going to similarly move the snowman so that it covers our house and in the center of our view. Now when I try to move the house, I click the snowman, and it briefly turns red. When I let go, it turns back blue. Believe it or not, our snowman has enacted some magical curse on the house to make it stay in the sky. The next technique is the opposite of what we just talked about. It's about sinking items into the ground. For this recipe, you're gonna need a big floating rock, a smaller floating rock, and any furnishing that you can use as an anchor point. This doesn't really matter. And the smaller floating rock is what we're gonna be using to sink into the ground. So first, we're gonna create a set with a create set button on the right. Select the anchor and the small floating rock, group them together. We're gonna move the big floating rock up high, and then we're gonna move the group that we just created onto the big rock so that they both sit flat on the big rock. Now we're gonna select the small rock by itself, not the group, and move it vertically down. And now if we select the anchor and select edit set, and then we move the whole set onto the ground, you'll notice that the small floating rock is now under the ground. And this is what it looks like underground. With this technique, you can actually put your buildings in the water under the island. In total, with these techniques, you can create anything in your imagination. And here I created my own version of Enkonomia under the Inazuma Island. And yes, this is actually in water. Well, that's it guys. There are some other techniques that are very complicated and not very useful. I think with these three techniques, can already accomplish a countless number of things. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ooh.